Why putting chicken legs on drones make them far more terrifying is not what you think. While signal jamming stops radio controlled drones, it's useless against the new threat of fiber optics. Wired drones already make up 10% of the battlefield, and that number is increasing fast. Of course, physically cutting the wire or using giant cutting chains works. But according to Ukrainians, the best defense right now is still a gritty combo. A safari shotgun and a Ptashka net launcher that's effective up to 100 feet. But even that is not foolproof. So defense has turned into offense. Drones now hunt each other mid-air, knocking rivals down with sticks or throwing nets. But the bigger nightmare is the fiber optics ambush drone that sits on the road, waiting for a target. To counter it, now we have drones that throw nets over the ambushers, trapping them on the ground, again and again. This is why a chicken leg system similar to the one developed by Stanford University engineers called SNAG is being looked at by both Ukrainians and Russians, which could give ambush drones the ability to perch in trees hidden by leaves. But with robot legs attached to the bottom, where do you put the ammunition?